In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Yellowbox Pro to appear as a USB webcam inside Zoom, Google Meet, or Microsoft Teams. First things first, in order to set up your Yellowbox Pro so that it outputs a signal that your computer can interpret through USB-C, you need to come over to the menu all on the end to the cog, and then you need to ensure that USB-C out is enabled. That is going to enable your computer to read Yolobox Pro as a USB webcam device. Without this, you're not going to be able to do it unless you use the program out, which runs through HDMI, and then the HDMI can run into something like another capture device, like a Blackmagic ATEM or a Camlink 4K. But in this case, we're just going direct from the Yolobox Pro. So make sure that's enabled. Now let's jump into Zoom. Once you've got Zoom booted up, go up to the cog in the top right hand corner. And then from there, you need to come over to Video tab. And if your computer is anything like mine, it will have defaulted to the USB-C webcam input, which in this case is the Yolobox Pro. But if for whatever reason yours hasn't, and it's actually on the integrated webcam, here's my integrated webcam, hello, um, then just change it in the drop down to the Yolobox Pro. And exactly the same thing for your audio, just come over to your audio over here. If your microphone has not been selected as coming from the Yolobox Pro, then what you'll need to do is change that in the drop down so that it is enabled. Um, and then for me, if you want to change your speaker setup in any way so that it either comes through the yellow box or out through your laptop, then you can do that in the drop down here as well. I prefer to have it coming through the laptop because I'll normally run a headset directly from the laptop to my ears. Okay, so that's how we deal with it inside of Zoom. So let's have a look at how we deal with it inside of Google Meet. Inside of Google Meet, go and start a new meeting. It's the easiest way to do it. Just start an instant meeting. And again, just like with Zoom, it has defaulted to my USB-C webcam as the default. Now, if you need to change this for whatever reason, what you can do is come down to the three little cogs down here, the settings menu. And then again, just like in Zoom, you can change what your drop downs are in order to have the correct inputs and outputs that you want. And again, if it's defaulted to the integrated webcam like mine does, um, sometimes, not in this case, it defaulted to the Yolobox Pro, but then you can change it to that. As a general rule of thumb for me, um, I will never have adjust video lighting, which is just an automatic brightness. I'll never have that enabled. Okay. So that's how you do it inside of Google Meet. Let's have a look now at how to do that inside of Microsoft Teams. Since recording the original version of this video, I had about a 45 minute period of trying to get Microsoft Teams to work on my Dell XPS 9570. I couldn't get Microsoft Teams to work on the actual desktop version, so this is happening in the web app version, but it works in pretty much the same way. The easiest way to get started is to go to Meet Now and then go Start Meeting. This will allow you to jump into the settings and see your sources of video and audio, which in this case is going to be the Yellowbox Pro. Now the video you're watching on the screen has no audio attached to it as it is a local recording that was done on the Yolobox Pro during the original recording phase. If for whatever reason Microsoft Teams doesn't default to the Yolobox Pro, just like with the other programs, then go down to Customize Setup, which will bring up a pop-up on the side of the screen and there you'll be able to select from the drop-down your Yolobox Pro or your integrated webcam. You might have better luck with Microsoft Teams than I did, especially on my Dell XPS 9570. So this may not be appropriate if you only use the desktop app, but this is just to show you what it'll look like inside of a meeting within Microsoft Teams. When you first get sent a link, or if you're first setting up your studio into Riverside, this is the screen you'll be presented with to start with. And just like with other meeting software, it's got your 
integrated webcam, if you've got one and your integrated microphone are set as defaults. Now, Zoom and Google Meet didn't do this for me. They defaulted to my USB-C webcam. Riverside might not do that for you. So this is the screen as it'll appear. We want to change our sources, select the drop down, select the yellow box, come over again, select the yellow box, and there we are. Now we've got a full 1080p signal coming through Riverside. And again, I'm just gonna go over here and click, I'm not using headphones because I'm not at the moment. I'm gonna click join studio. And there I am ready to go inside of Riverside. Now, if at any point I have any problems or I wanna switch sources as I'm going through, come down to the settings cog at the bottom here. And again, you'll be able to change these in the drop down just as you were at the beginning of setting up your Riverside Studio. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about anything I've gone through in this video, please pop them in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.